Hey everybody, this is Joe. You were great in your day, Perch, but it just stands to reason when it came time to cash in your chips, this old diseased maniac would be your banker. Mind over muscle. So today we're taking a look at the numbers for my husband's channel. Now Perch says that the channel began back in April of 2019, but he's technically not correct because the first video he posted was actually at the end of March. Just one of the many factual inaccuracies the channel would have over its lifespan. Initially the channel was largely comprised of some of the worst audio quality on the internet paired with extremely dry and unusually mundane aspects of the comic book industry. Unsatisfied with hours of conversation in the store, he continued his lectures in the car where nobody was able to escape. Despite this, he was able to generate a modest amount of support that led to an interview with Brian Edward Hill, artistic collaboration with Larry, and a regular appearance on the better produced and more popular Thinking Critical show. Two years and over 1,600 videos later, here we are. So, how did it all do? Well, if you look at the screen now, you can see the general growth of the channel. It started modestly, unlike his ego, and has steadily grown through the first year. But it was the second year where things started to take off, largely due to him finally giving in and allowing YouTube to run advertisements for male performance aids, political slogans, and StreamYard ads. With YouTube polluting his channel, in return for enough funding to pay for half a tank of gas, subscribers took off in the second year, leading to extremely strong growth. Now, if you take a look at the trend line here, you can see that if the channel keeps its current pace, it should pass 25,000 by the end of the summer, and over 1 million by this time next year. Since our children would like the new Mario game for the Switch, I'm hoping the advertising revenue can partially fund this dream by 2025. So, this is a successful story, right? Well, if you take this growth chart and contrast against the amount of meals Perch no longer cooks for his family because he no longer has time thanks to explaining for the 40th time what an overship is, you can see that the trend goes almost completely inverse to the channel's growth. We see similar downward trends for things like sleep, basic hygiene, and communication skills. Fortunately, with the lockdown over the last year, he's been able to teach our children how to read comics during their online classes, throw eggs at the wall, and how to spot owls in the yard outside the house. So, in conclusion, he posts too many videos, no one is watching all of these, and let's be honest, it's all pretty repetitive at this point. Nobody has recognized him in public, even when he wears a poo shirt. To the grocery store, I think it bothers him at some core level, but he's a good father, even if he does mislead our children on current issues, and I love him despite all this. So that's the story of the channel. Thanks for keeping my husband company, and I hope he cooks dinner more often. Maybe if he goes to just two videos a day? Anyway, like and subscribe so we can keep this ridiculous game going a little longer, and thanks for listening.